Hey guys, what's up? This is Rob with One Star Views. Thank you so much for watching. I'm down here in my living room. I was getting ready to open up my cassette collection from the 80s and jam out to some of the uh, the old tapes that I had, especially the mixtapes. Now, the cassettes you, you see in front of you, probably get all of them on Spotify, you know, no problem there. But some of the ones that are unique are the ones that um, I really miss, like this one right here. It's a Maxell blank tape recorded back in the 80s, probably in the late 80s, early 90s. It says Club Mix on here. I think it was from probably like Club D or Petrus or something like that, downtown Atlanta. I think my brother went and got um, a DJ to hook me up on a, on a mixtape or something. But this is like a club mix. Um, it's got a bunch of good stuff on there. I tried to throw it into my um, mini component system and the thing ate the tape. Completely. So I do have a couple of cassette players still from the old days, and this is the first one I used. Never knew how to pronounce that, but it's an Iowa. I'm sure everybody that's my age probably has owned something like this before in the past. Both cassette decks are, are hosed. Um, neither one of them was able to play this tape. In fact, the right one is the one that ate my tape. Then going over to this one right here, this is my... Uh, tried and true Sony boombox from I think I bought it in 1992 single CD player up top single cassette player at the bottom boombox this thing used to jam out for me got me through the military again tape player is hosed this one right here this one's an intriguing one this is another Sony boombox dual cassette deck no CD player detachable speakers just like this Sony right here I won this one in 1995, when I worked for a debt collections firm, I was a bill collector, and I won this because I was one of their top performers at the end of the month. So I won this for free, and the tape players, both of them, actually still work. But problem at hand, my club mix, dead tape, I'm going to try to fix it today. So what I'm going to do is I don't have any of these. I tr immediately I tried to Google you know, cassette tape repair tape because I know that exists you can buy tape that will you know mend this so all I gotta do is cut cut the pieces off the dead pieces and then pretty much just uh, tape it together but I don't have that material today so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna use regular clear tape and if that doesn't work then I'll use shipping tape so let's get to work okay guys so we're back in now I did mention previously that I've done this before but it's been a while. I mean, it might be like a couple of scores. You know what I'm talking about? Um, so I'm using just what, what you see here on the table. I'm just going to see if it works. Again, we're going to start with the scotch tape, see if it works. Just regular matte finish, magic tape. If that don't work, let's go for the Staples shipping tape. That's all the tape I got. I don't have any special tape with me, so I really want this cassette to play again so we're just gonna go with it now basically I'm just gonna cut the cassette tape where it's still good ish where it's not gonna cause me any problems this is like a couple minutes of good you know old-school beats right in the club all right say goodbye to that all right so I'm left with a little bit here now what I'm gonna do is make sure I line it up correctly I don't want it to be upside down when I do this and what I'll probably end up doing is, let's just do a little, let's just tape it down just to make sure we got it flat. And I got both sides flat. Here comes the process. Now I'll probably overlap it because I'm not going to be that extreme. So I'm probably just going to put a piece of tape over it and then I'm going to use the X-Acto um, to cut the sides off. And we'll go from there. This is exciting. Let's see what happens. Tape struggles. This just brings back a lot of flashbacks of the 80s and 90s, you know, when people, when we used to, you know, play tapes, that was all we had, or records. And then, uh, you know, tape players would eat tapes all the time. Okay. It's gonna be a little bit harder than I thought. All right, and that's just one side. I'm hoping that's enough. Hopefully it's enough to get it through, you know, for another another 10 years, right? All right, now I'm going to cut it. Okay. All 
Oh, all right, that's a bad move. Bad move on my part to tape down tape. That looked pretty good. Look at that, that looked pretty good right there. Now I gotta do it all over again. All right, so this is what I got. I had to cut it, I had a bunch of mistakes. This is looking pretty bad. You can see the, the handiwork here. But it's it's attached now. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wind it up. I don't have a pencil, so I'll just use my finger. Those of y'all that know what I'm talking about. Get this thing wound up. Sorry, I'm trying to do this on camera, but okay, let's see. All right, and away we go. There's our bundle right there, which doesn't look very tight, but it'll have to do. All right, so where's the camera there? There we go. All right, so we're all taped up. I'm probably gonna have to play both sides of this tape to see. I'm gonna play it like a couple seconds one way and a couple seconds the other way. That way we can see where the cutoff is, but actually it's right there. So let me roll it up a little bit this way. All right, now let's take a look. Is clear tape, scotch tape, all I need to repair this cassette tape and bring it back to life. Let's check it out. Listen to that jam. Bass boost all the way up. Looks like it played, but the music on there, this part of the club mix, had a lot of language in it and stuff like that. I didn't think it was appropriate for this channel or whatnot, um, so I decided to cut that section. So it did play, and it did play rather well, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the tape over and see where the, the cut is on this side. Now this is another mix of... Madonna's Vogue song. This is back in the 90s, whatever, but uh, I think this was a club mix as well. So let's see what this sounds like on this side. I promised you guys Club D, Petrus, whatever it was, but we're going to go with Vogue. Like I said, I didn't hear the I didn't hear where the music got cut on the tape, so this might be the better side anyway. Sounds pretty good. This tape is literally like 30 years old. And this boom box is probably close to that too. It's probably about 25 years old. So the fact that the Sony tape players still work and the cassette still works, it's pretty cool. Now we're probably getting to that point where it gets cut here. There it is right there. And it survived. Look at that. Worked pretty good. Just a couple seconds. Hey, I'll deal with that. The rest of the tape is is uh, is intact. So pretty cool. Alright, so I'm gonna open it back up. Make sure the tape didn't get eaten up again. Looks pretty good. Everything's tight on here. No problems at all. All right, now you guys know if you guys bust your cassette tapes, if your uh, tape player eats your cassettes, you got a really easy solution. Actually, it wasn't easy, but you have a solution to use scotch tape to repair your cassette tape so you can keep on rocking and keep these uh, cassettes uh, rolling maybe for another 10 years. So thank you so much for watching. This is Rob with One Star Reviews. Stay safe. God bless you. Do yourself a favor. Love your neighbor, and I'll see you next time.